Yeah. Right then, I'm down at Stoke on Trent's very first Comic Con convention, and I've managed to catch up with Norman Lover. How's it going, Norman? Yeah, good, very good. You're looking forward to your day? Yeah, I'm just a bit. I've got a bit of a bad throat, and I'm on beach and pills tablets. I'm on drugs. I'm a little bit hoarse today as well. I know the feeling. Because I've just done a week of uh, stand-up shows around the country, so it's caught up with me. I think. How's that gone for you? Yeah, it's gone very well. I had a, a woman in Scotland who I had a discussion about the vote. There's still some very wounded people up there. <laughs> I can only imagine. She, she left halfway through because she thought I was being horrible and I wasn't. <laughs> she was just like a, a nutter. We, uh, we did. I, I chatted to you on Six Towns Radio about a month ago and uh, we discussed that, people who take uh, the jokes too seriously. and. Uh, you were telling me about a holier-than-thou guy who was sort of getting in touch on Twitter and your daughter had to defend you. Oh, um, yeah, him? The, oh yeah, my joke about Cliff Richard. Was it? Yeah, I, all I tweeted was the young ones, you know. <laughs> just a little, it was a, I just couldn't resist it. But I mean, it, perhaps, you know, perhaps it's for the Frankie Boyle, you know. I mean, you know, and Joan Rivers, you know, look. I mean, I don't do it. I'll just do it very ca- occasionally, you know, because I'm not that type of comedian. Mm. But I'm still a comedian, so it's silly. It's silly these holier than thou people on Twitter. They just you just block. I didn't block him. I muted him. Yeah. Just gave him a gave him a muting. So there you go. Right from the words of Norman Lovett. Don't take life too seriously. Well, you, you only you don't you only live once. Um, now we're you're going to be catching up with Craig Charles today. When was the last time you saw him? Um. Definitely this year. And I can't remember where. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely fantastic yeah, that we've got this year, yeah. we, we've got the two guys that sort of basically kickstarted Red Dwarf. I think it's an absolutely beautiful thing, and I'm looking forward to getting a photo with you both together. I can't wait for that. We kickstarted it. Yeah, well, you, you were kind of the first two characters, weren't you? Oh yeah, when, yeah. When the whole oh, thing I see first what started. you mean. The everybody's dead, Dave. Is a that that was voted one of the. Uh, it got you know it had a top hundred voting thing of the in sci-fi scenes and stuff from films and that was in the top 100 and also it explains what red dwarfs about why that why the why rimmer exists and uh, yeah it's, it's good yeah. my, my favorite was the uh, the april fool skit i absolutely love that the queeg thing well chris barry said that's my finest hour or half hour <laughs> and he's probably right he's probably right yeah it was a great was skit great. very good uh, right, we'll try and catch up with you later, but thanks for your time, Norman. We're opening right. soon, so I'm right. going to uh, get out of the way now and let him sign some autographs. Thank yeah. you very much. All right, pleasure. Cheers.